Hey, what's up guys? Anton here from Dropship Lifestyle and the title of this video is Consumption versus Creation. That's exactly what we're going to talk about and I want to share with you my approach to basically consuming information and then turning that into knowledge, whether that makes me either wealthier mentally or financially. I'm going to show you how I kind of manage my time between the two and honestly how I'd recommend you do it as well. It works for me, maybe it'll work for you too. So with that being said guys, let's get into this week's episode of Dropship Weekly. Guys, so hopefully you could see this okay. On top it says my rules for consumption and on bottom we have two circles here. Left is consumption, right is creation. Now, let me just start by saying like, if you had to choose one, right, and only focus on it, if, you, if it was one or the other and that's it, if you think about which one would bring you most joy in life and which one would bring you most satisfaction and which one would bring you most wealth, then hands down you should live 100% of time in the creation bubble, right? Creating different things. That could be products, that could be services, that could be experiences, it doesn't matter. But creation is where joy comes from, it's where happiness comes from, it's where wealth comes from. So if you had to choose, again, that would be 100% of the time, right? That's the path to, to happiness, basically. Now, with that being said, no one can create 100% of the time. Luckily, we don't have to make that choice. We can kind of balance where we spend our time. And in the consumption section, this is when I'm referring to literally consuming information, consuming knowledge, or even consuming like random crap, right? Like keep watching Keeping Up with the Kardashians would be in consumption also. But uh, for the purpose of this video, because we're talking business, we're talking marketing, I'm talking like listening to podcasts, reading different uh, books, you know, following different online courses, and uh, kind of like the split and my approach to this once again. So for me, when I'm consuming information that's gonna make me you know, smarter, that's gonna make me better, that's gonna make me get better results from my business, I really need like one of two things to, to happen. As I'm consuming that, I either need to get something that I can implement or I need to be consuming something that's gonna lead to a partnership. Now, let me just write this down. The reason I kind of have these two different things for me personally is because not all the content I, I consume is going to be with people I can partner with. But I have some uh, some books here that I'll do for give you like as examples. Okay, this right here I'll uh, I'll link to it below. It's called Ready Fire Aim. This is probably like my favorite book in the world, right? This is written by like one of the best copywriters, in my opinion, of all time, uh, about how they scaled tons of different direct response companies. But this is definitely something I consume. I mean, I've read this book probably like three times cover to cover, listened to the audio book, you know, numerous times as well. So for this, when I'm reading it, I'm always taking away something I can implement, okay? If you see the title of it, it's zero to 100 million in no time flat. So no, I haven't done that yet, but when I read it, I'm thinking of things that I can implement right away. So the only reason I consume this, and I've consumed it so many times, is because the implementation, right? Um, again, I'll give you another book example. This book right here, uh, Content Machine, good book by Dan Norris. He's a guy from Australia, really cool entrepreneur, someone that I guess is in like my same circle of friends, right? So when I'm consuming something like this, I'm always thinking of like what possible partnership could there be? I'm getting things that I can implement, but because kind of someone that's already, you know, connected, uh, I guess through like, you know, the, the our, our network, then I'm thinking of partnership opportunities. As I consume, I'm thinking, well, maybe, you know, we could do a podcast together or maybe I can promote his products or maybe he could talk about mine right so things like that and again when I spend my time consuming anything I'm either taking away something I can implement right away or I'm looking for that partnership opportunity again that's my personal way of, of basically deciding what I want to keep reading or what I keep I want to keep watching now here's where most people and if you're watching this maybe this isn't you but this is where most people in life kind of fail on the consumption edge, uh, end of things, right? They read too many books like this one, or they see a book like this one and see, oh, zero to 100 million in no time flat, and then they, can see, they consume it and they're like, oh man, this guy is like, probably like egotistical and he's all about money and he's all about greedy, and he's all about greed, right? So when they read a book like this or when they watch something on CNBC, right? And they're like hearing these success stories and consuming information, maybe even they're watching, you know, the Keeping Up With Kardashian show, right? Their consumption, instead of leading to how they're gonna better their life, leads to feelings of, you know, jealousy. Definitely spelt that wrong. Uh, leads to feelings of envy, right? Um, envy. Leads to feeling of overwhelm. 
And this, this is a box that a lot of people fall into because honestly, the more you consume without implementing or without partnering, you're basically just pushing yourself further and further away from where you really should be, which is creating, okay? If you are the type of person that consumes information all the time and doesn't put it into action, you're not gonna fall into this place where you wanna be, which leads to creation and actually betters your creation but you're gonna fall in here and this is where you're gonna be stuck. And it's really like a dangerous cycle where people do go through this. They'll get all excited, they'll see a new online course come out, they'll see a new TV show, they'll get a new book, and they'll get this feeling of jealousy and envy and being overwhelmed and oh, this person could do it and I can't. That's the worst way to consume. And honestly, if you're watching this right now and like you're feeling like you're in here, stop. You know, if that's you, you don't need to consume anything, you're done. You, that's when you should live 100% in the creation bubble. Make something of your own, see what's possible, learn the lessons yourself. But if you can get into this constant feedback flow here, where you basically eliminate this, you're golden, okay? This is how you can get amazing results in your business. As soon as you consume, either find a way you could partner with whoever it is that you're consuming information from, find a way you can implement something right away, hop into creation mode, spend most of your time in this box, but when you see a op good opportunity for something to consume, again, these two books are great examples, consume them, put it to use, create, you'll do better in life. And guys, for anyone that's watching this that's stuck in this bubble, I've mentioned this book I don't know how many times, one of my favorite books, Do the Work, Stephen Pressfield, uh, it talks about this exact space where a lot of people are stuck, um, you know, and basically how to, how to get out of that, how to get back into creation. Because again, this is where true happiness, true wealth, and really just like enjoying life comes from. I, I truly believe that. So hope you guys found that uh, maybe interesting or maybe if you found yourself that you've been here for a while, again, stop consuming, move on. Don't watch my next Dropship Weekly video until you've created something that makes you proud. So hope you guys got value out of that. Um, with that being said, I will see you next Thursday for the next episode of Dropship Weekly. Thank you, everybody.